AI, con- AI controlled aircraft that's going to fly. There was just yeah. a great article in the New York Times yesterday about it. All these companies that are now scrambling to take over the buildings, which which is a threat to the established weapons manufacturers, jet builders, because they're the the future are fighting China in in a large, like full scale and a battle is going to be. AI controlled drone dependent. So rather than sending human beings in sixty million dollar jets, they're going to send swarms of two or three million dollar AI controlled fighter drones, and those are going to be self-driven, right? Self-flown, the way Elon's trying to get self-driving vehicles. I mean, self. That this is the plan. Great article yesterday, and that's that's where it's going. And if Orville Wright could see that robot wars, robot a hundred percent robot wars, robot wars, like <sighs> like um, Cameron had it right, you know, yeah. Terminator had it right, and, yeah, and like like AI, dude, right? Like it's on. It's crazy. It's crazy. You I mean, know? I think this is what. Uh, not to, I'm not defending Ted Kaczynski. But this is what Ted Kaczynski's manifesto was about, was the constru- construction of technology was going to replace the human race. What is this, Jamie? That's an AI drone. Wow. I mean, this is, this is, uh, whoa, this is the future. Look you at know, this fucking and thing. And like, my business is on strike, you know, the writers and, and, mm-hmm. and, and I'm, I support my strike, but you know, AI is a big issue. We don't like, everyone's worried about AI. Right. Well, Everybody's worried about AI, yeah. right? Like AI is going to be fighting our wars, and and like, you know, when AI is going to be writing books. When when Trump was talking about space force back in the day, like, this is space force. Yeah, this is real space force shit. Yeah, and it's funny they didn't even think of that in Star Wars. AI? No, no, they didn't. Isn't that wild? Like in Star Wars, no one had a cell phone, and no, yeah, but they had lightsabers. They did have lightsabers. I mean, come on, pretty dope. R2-D2. Definitely dope. Yeah, they had R two. R two helped with some shit, but I don't know what he was really doing. But he was so sad all the time. He was so annoying. <laughs> um, but imagine, <laughs> but there's a giant difference between that and sending a a, a pilotless jet to engage in in combat. It seems like that's the direction. Yeah, I, I get I, fucking so terrified when I watch those Boston Dynamic videos of those robots that they're inventing. Yeah, it's crazy. They're getting um, so good. They're acrobats dude, now. I went to um, MIT. Uh, we filmed something at MIT, and they took me into the robotics department, like down in the basement. And they showed me, like these ten kids did a presentation. You've been to campus at MIT? Yes. Fucking cool, right? Yeah. Um, uh, we got to film on the campus. We're, we're the first film, Patriots Day, because one of the MIT cops was killed by the Marathon bombers. They they killed him after the bombing. And so they wanted to honor him, and they let us film there. And they took us down to the robotics wing and showed us a robot cheetah that they had invented <laughs> that was sp- sprinting up and down the halls and jumping over little obstacles. And I'm like, I'm like what? And they're like, yeah, Can I our- see that? Show me the... MIT robotic cheetah, the um the those little ones that look like dogs. They it was the shit out. oh like it, that yeah. It, like but that. it was it was a cheetah. It was different than this. These things scare the shit out of me because you could just easily see them with a gun on. Yeah, them. that's RoboCop shit. And um, if you watch that uh, Netflix show Black Mirror, yeah, there's a great one show. great great episode. Did you ever see the uh, heavy metal episode? Uh, is that about robots? It's about one of these things chasing after this lady. Yeah. It's fucking great. It's terrifying. But you look, look at how it moves and gyrates. Dude, it's it's real, and it's like you talk about like so. Look at that, and think about the progression that the Wright brother from the Wright brothers to uh, you know Hiroshima in terms of aircraft. Fifty years that technology. That was what they were doing with the cheetah. Oh, this one. That was what. That was. Is that MIT? Ago. Yeah, this was ten years ago. Ten yeah. years ago. Look this, how fast it's this going. This is what they showed me. But it was they put a, a like a cheetah a cheetah skin over it. This is twenty eight miles an hour. I bet it goes a hundred now. Like think about <laughs> it's that. It's probably electric now. We were talking about electric think engines. Think about that with a lightsaber attached yeah. to its head, just like <laughs> charging through <laughs> crowd control. <laughs> right? Look at this thing. That looks like a giant that's, dog. That's the root. See the cheetah tail there on the. Go, see that cheetah tail? Mm-hmm. That was the room we were in. Ah. Oh. That's MIT, isn't it? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that's the actual room we're in. Laser distance data. So it's it's figuring out distances between things. It just got faster one year ago. Wow, what that fucker. Like, <laughs> like, think about the applications. Yeah, so, like it's not good. It's what, not going to teach people. Give me go go go. What's one po like? What's one kind, loving, positive application for that thing? Like it's rescue, like pull I, people out of a. Mine. I have a dog. Yeah. Oh, okay. I maybe rescue. But they're I, not going to use it for that. No, they're not, dude. <laughs> they're not. That's coming like in your door. Remember, right. remember when uh, was it? Gates was the the L.A. chief of police who first used a tank in South Central Los Angeles. Do you remember that story? I don't remember. Oh that. God, I think it was Gates was his name, and he was the like his strategy was okay. If you're holed up in your uh, your house and we want to arrest you, we're going to put a battering ram on a tank. And he drove his tank, and I mean, he got in huge, tremendous troubles. Like Jesus. the beginning of like the LAPD being called out for like militarization, you know, excessive, excessive. Nancy Reagan raided a South Central crack house. What? Was it, yeah, what? This, this, I think this is it. They're this is it. it? Yeah, it was like a, the first uh, designer drug raid. Is what wow. It. It, was a, it says pure publicity stunt. Nancy, look at this. Nancy Reagan wanted to find a way to maintain her visibility as an anti-narcotics crusader now that her husband was out of office. Chief Gates was looking toward a possible gubernatorial run, which mercifully never came to pass. For those arrested, it was another day in the war that American politicians and police had declared on black and brown communities. They really rolled in with a tank. Yeah, they did. The they put they put a um, battering ram on a tank, and and roll, rolled in. You know that that's another you know interesting element of painkiller that we touch upon was the parallels between um, between oxycontin and and crack cocaine you know the crack ep epidemic mm -hmm. oh yeah there it is look at that that's lapd like rescue going after <laughs> going after uh that's the war on drugs in los angeles that's the rescue, that's what it says. 